Hey, what's up guys? When gathering all those materials for the other life skills, you will come to a point where processing down materials yourself will start saving you silver and rewarding you with more materials back, but you will notice it will take a while or not go as planned more times than not. Today I'll be showing you how to speed up processing and increase those success rates so you can get back more faster. This will ensure you will not waste more days making those boats or wagons. So grab your processing stones and get those Sethra artifacts. It's time to start clang clang processing. We all know processing is slow and mass processing, though it can process down larger amounts, it takes longer. But there are ways to speed this up without having to sacrifice those Manus Craftsman clothes for a plus 3 silver embroidered, or just speed up leveling processing while using the plus 3 or plus 4 silver embroidered Craftsman clothes. Enter the Lightstone combination, clang clang. Getting this combination will increase your process success rate by 20%, get plus 10% process experience, plus 20 processing mastery, and will give plus 30 weight limit. This is a complete game changer for those who want to level faster or want to mass process faster, so let's get into what you'll need to enjoy that clang clang processing. To get started with what I dubbed clang clang processing, you will need a Manos or Logia Craftsman clothes at Tri or Tet. The higher the better obviously. And this can also be done using the silver embroidered for more experience and finally they can be crafted or bought from the central market. If doing mass processing, either a Tet Logia processing stone or Manos stone is needed. This will increase the amount of items processed down, these can also be crafted or bought from the central market. Like with the clothes, wearing the matching logo or Manos accessories will increase the mastery and experience gained. These of course can be made, rewarded during bartering, and bought off the central market. Using a blue grade life spirit stone will increase the processing success rate. These are found from mobs in poly forest and these two can be bought off the central market. The last piece of gear that can be worn to speed up processing are the processing Sethra artifacts. These cannot be bought from the central market and have to be found while trading in the imperial cooking and alchemy crates. As for the stones, these can be purified from the imperfect stones and if you're lucky you can get the stone you need. Or if you have the money, you can buy these off the central market too. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you were able to get the stones that you needed or if you're still waiting to get them. I finally got my leaving the cooking combination left. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying the content here on this channel. All the support is greatly appreciated and it helps grow the channel. Back to increasing the success rate, the Vidir Drought can be used for that plus 20 processing success rate and a marvelous Elton Meal will further increase the success rate plus 15% and last for 600 minutes, easily making this better than the Seafood Kron's Meal. With everything set up, let's get into speeding up getting that processing experience. There are several ways to increase the experience when processing. Some of the ways are easier than others, but let's get into them. Starting out, the Secret Book of Florin will give plus 20 life experience and plus 100 life skill mastery as a bonus. By doing the weekly quest offered by Liana Valentine, found in any major city, gives you the Flamoris Petals which can be combined with the Liana's Catalyst or the Ludowig's Catalyst. Sadly, you can only get three of these books a week. Next, Perfume of Swiftness gives plus 20 life experience. These can be made or can be bought off the central market. Going back to the Vidir Droughts, they add plus 20 life experience and if combining with magical elixirs obtained during events will increase the duration from 15 minutes to 60 minutes. Now, the Veniso clothes will increase processing success rate and give an added bonus of being able to process materials from the storage. This also works for 
mass processing, but these can only be bought from the pearl shop for 2,200 pearls, unfortunately. Sometimes these do go on sale if you do want to snag one at a reduced price. And like with the costumes, the next options are the pets. Using a life skill pet will increase the life experience plus 1% for each tier, and if you're lucky enough, you can get a pet that has the plus 5 processing experience skill. The higher the tier, the more experience you can get. For me, I have plus 21% life experience and plus 5 processing experience. Laura's warm black tea will also increase life experience by another plus 30%. These cannot be made or bought off the central market, instead these have to be obtained by playing the Black Spirit Adventure. The one final way to increase experience is to use the life experience scrolls. Depending on which one you use depends on how much the experience is increased. The plus 50% is obtainable through the Black Spirit Adventure. There are other event items that can be used to help speed up experience. If you're lucky enough to go ahead and save them, they can be used to go ahead and further push mastery and experience. With processing taking so long to process down materials, this is a great way to speed up all the processing and help speed up leveling sooner. The main downside to this will have to be getting the lightstones and the venison clothes and maybe sometimes the manos gear, but when obtained will definitely make it all worth it. I hope this helps you hit guru with processing and maybe get those boats and wagons made faster. I wish I had this when I was making my boat, but now that I do it, processing is so much easier and way faster. If you want to see another way to level those life skills, click this video here and I will see you in another Black Desert Online Guide.